Welcome to another Spotlight tutorial. Today I'm going to teach you how to score a lot of points quickly in the dream world. This is especially important if you're going after the good stuff because everything that requires points to be unlocked requires a lot of points. So if you don't want to lose your sanity doing it, I strongly suggest following those simple steps and once you've mastered them, you can easily score over 500 points every single day. The first thing you want to do when getting on the dream world is to harvest the berries that are fully grown. Every time you do so, you get 10 points per berry plant that you harvest. Of course, remember to also plant a few berries because you're going to need to plant them if you want to eventually harvest them and get more points. Also remember that you can water your own berries if you realize no one's been watering them. And the good thing about that is that it doesn't take away any of the units of water that you can use to water someone else's berries. It's basically unlimited when it comes to your own garden. Of course you're going to be taking away points from anyone who visits your garden afterwards, but I think it's still better that than have less berries to harvest once harvesting time comes. Once that's done, head over to the Island of Dreams and every time you encounter a Pokemon except to play the minigame. I can't stress this enough. Minigames are the best way to obtain points in the Dream World. Of course you can just aim for completion regardless of your score or time, but you'll only get 10 points that way. However, if you do better at the minigame, you can earn 20 or even 30 points. So it really pays to become good at those minigames, because you're going to get a lot more points that way. And once you reach the tree, go back home, head back to the Island of Dreams, and do it over and over and over again, never turning down a minigame. Minigames are the bread and butter of the dream world, sadly, because there are only four of them, but they are by far the best way of obtaining points. And repeat that until Pokémon stop appearing in the Island of Dreams. It should happen after a few runs when you have somewhere between 15 and 20 Pokémon in your queue. Now once you're done and Pokémon stop appearing, head back to the tree and choose a Pokémon to send to the Entralink. You'll gain 50 points right there. It doesn't matter what you choose, it could be a Rattata or a Farfetch'd or a Vulpix or whatever, it's gonna be a flat 50 points every time you do that. So you're free to choose whatever you want, whether it's a strong species, a good ability, or whatever you fancy the most. And once you're done doing that, hopefully you should have 10, 15, maybe even 20 minutes left before time runs out. So what you want to do is find berries to water in other people's gardens. You can use your Dream Pal map for that. You can go to your Dream Pal's gardens or even go to a complete stranger's garden because there's always one complete stranger that's going to appear on your Dream Pal whenever you open it. Now this part can be a little annoying because there are so many people in the dream world that most of the time it's not very difficult to keep berry plants watered. However, after a bit of search you are probably going to find someone with berries that need watering. So do it, go ahead, go wild, water the berries. You're going to obtain 10 points for every berry plant that you water that isn't yours. Now remember that you only have 20 units of water to play with, so you can only obtain 200 points through this method a day. And since it's rather difficult to find people whose berries aren't watered, this is why it's always best to keep that step for last, for if you have any leftover time after going to the Island of Dreams repeatedly. So those four steps are pretty much the core of how you get a high score on the Dream World. However, there are a few tips that will make it easier to collect points. The first one should be obvious. Make Dream Pals, accept requests. That way you're going to gain easy access to their gardens so you can water the berries whenever they need watering. And not only that, but you can also access their Dream Pal map so you can 
What are the berries of your dream pals, dream pals, and so on and so forth. So it's re it's really helpful if you want to be able to water berries uh, in a more optimal manner. And another thing that you can do to uh, to gain points is to put some items on your share shelf. However, it's not really worth it because you only get one point every time someone trades with you. And, of course, you don't want to put an, a, a rare item on your share shelf because, naturally, you risk losing it, especially if the one you're trading with gives you an orange berry in return or something like that. And, on that note, don't put an orange berry on your share shelf either because nobody wants orange berries. They're not going to come and give you free points that way. So, the best thing to do would be to give them middle-of-the-road items. Nothing too rare, especially pass orbs and Pokeballs, especially Pokeballs since those are easy to buy in the actual game. But that'll still mean free balls for your partner. So, basically, it's a win-win proposition. Unless, of course, you get an orange berry out of the deal. But hey, at least you got a free Dream World point for a Pokeball, I guess. So now that you know of those little tips to help you maximize your time in the dream world, go ahead and try it, and you may not go completely insane before you get enough points to actually get your hands on a drizzle toe.